on the CT side with complexity on the T side. Already JT. He's going to have a fair few people out there. Glock versus USP, USP at range. Could be tricky. Bit's going to be retreating from that fight, actually. Gets caught nearly. Lucky to be alive. They're still hunting him, and they will be successful in that hunt as well. Grim taking down Bit. Now, there's a bit of a flank coming in. Electronic hoping for that quick headshot. Eventually, will clear out JT, and that's something to maybe consider. They're still going to be pulling the bomb right away in this 4-on-4. Four four. Yeah, but is it an advantage? Look at the way they're boxed in. Two players coming up highway, especially with that kill. Complexity has to get aggressive here. They have to win these fights towards CT spawn, and Perfecto knows it. He's going to sink back, and the retake is coming in. Fang, a little bit of pressure. He's not sure if anyone's behind him, but what a great headshot to tank down Electronic. And just like that, they have the man advantage. Perfecto and head trick. I'm not sure if this is going to be an easy retake, although with headshots like that, maybe they're going to be just fine. Still have some time. Smoke has been picked up. Still not seeing a kit anywhere, so it's going to be the full 10-second defuse, which is a long time to be on that bomb. They have to go for it. And head trick, he had to get that fight, or they weren't going to be able to do it. It's going to be down to the wire anyway. He did get the triple. Oh, man, that is so close. What a way to start. Navi will pick up the pistol. Yeah, you got to say, though, too, a uh, rough sequence there for Grimm in the 2v2. I think that's a team flash that comes out from him from Bank that actually blinds up Fang at the truck, so he couldn't take any kind of a fight. So miss Q there, and they lose the pistol round. Otherwise, it was looking pretty decent for Complexity, finding themselves some good frags to get out of a sticky situation. Fang had a nice kill all before the flashbang comes in, and nice flank from Navi to really activate this pistol round. Head trick with a nice headshot onto Grimm. It looked like he was, he placed his crosshair at head height, except it's on a stair, it's stairwell, so it's kind of hard to do that, you know? Yeah. Normally you try and use boxes or whatever else to, to sort of, you know, remind yourself of where that is, but... Get your bearings. Yeah, well done. Second round by for Complexity with the bomb plant. AK-47s on the board for Grim and Fang. Galil's on JT and Floppy with their miss in his nades. They got none. Position for Electronic. <laughs> I don't even read it. I feel like JT might have been able to see the feet there, but it's just, it's such an unusual position. You're not even, your brain is not registering that that could, that could be somebody's shoes, you know, on the railing. Yeah, really hard position to clear out. Bitch is biding his time at the staircase. He's going to start getting wrapped upon, so he's got nowhere to go. He's kind of in this position until an opportunity presents itself, either one for escape or one for a fight. We'll see if Fang and Halzerk have any interest in trying to clear out stairs from up top. Grim's going to give it up now. It being allowed to hang out in here is just it's such a great position to be in especially with Sunday young right next to him they're covering the entire central part of the map and in the meantime complexity setting up outside of the b bomb site it's just going to be contact play right there, there's no nades remember so they're going to be walking out towards the b bomb site walking through monster and challenging up against Perfecto. One for one trade. There's a couple of SMGs in the board. Excuse me, one SMG, one Famas. Now, STY has that. His position is given up, but the Molotov is going to change the route. Good shot from Grim, and Hedrick's there for the rebuttal. 22 seconds on the clock. And that bomb drop back there is a big issue. Grim's already low on health. Also, it's in a lot of trouble, but they managed to win both the fights. That's crazy. I would assume that at least they would have been forced to actually try and plant the bomb, but... The fight's happened before any bomb plant is coming through, and that's going to be a huge turnaround. There's that SMG coming to hot bit right at the end. He was waiting patiently throughout the entire round for his opportunity. That's an important kill for Grimm, but he had the jump on the player. He had the jump on, I believe, who was that at the end? Halzerk with the Galil, and yeah. still not able to pull it out. So good clutch from Complexity. And it's Navi's turn to go back and force by down to pistols and a scout on head trick. I am seeing three five sevens. That's rare. Yeah, changing seasons. Is it five seven is in is in style? Yeah, I mean, I know he's been a, he's been a good pistol all throughout. Just uh, maybe outdone by some of the other ones. Oh, 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 oh. a couple of dinks there. Floppy down on the ground. That's a nice sequence. Doors opened. M4 going to work. Good find from Bit for the equalizing kill. I, I think they can still protect that weapon. I think the weapon was had fallen forward, so now they can have eyes on it at the very least. Yeah, and it's tempting for the Navi side to try and go and pick it up. So, <laughs> yeah, it's right there. Maybe a bad idea to give it up, although, yeah. Maybe a bad idea to throw a flashbang. I was going to say, that, why does that always happen? As soon as you pull out a nades. <laughs> it's just one of those unexplainable factors of Counter-Strike. Hedrick's got the information. He spotted one. Nobody's moved yet from Navi to start rotating over just now. That shift is starting to happen, but Complexity is already using utility and knocking down the front door. Bombsite lost, and Navi's going to have a decision to make. Hedrick certainly did not want to stick around for uh, for any kind of scout heroics. Trying to close a little bit of time. And they do have armor on three people. So maybe they just say, that's it. It's not worth it. Get the Galil instead. Try and fight in the next round. I can appreciate that. 
probably not nothing yeah. would have come of it if he would have stuck around for the to defend the bomb site. Yeah, and also obviously they're not going to buy in the next round if they're to get wiped out here. So just keep the weapons in hand, and you basically have another dangerous save round, and especially because you can drop that five seven over to bit, and you have a Galil in the hands of Electronic. So two to one, complexity with an early lead. How are you feeling about overpass these days? What's your? Uh, there's been some some map discussion coming up recently. I feel like Mirage is always in the in the you know community cross hands so to speak. Like Mirage gets a lot of uh, unnecessary hate. I feel I really enjoy Mirage uh, as a map. Um, I don't know. Overpass is in a weird place because it, it used to occupy that space where it was like one of the more tactical maps that we have. Yeah. Um, and now now it feels kind of uh, I don't know. It, I just don't have the same sense about it anymore. I, I wonder, I'm, I'm really curious, one of the things about Navi that, I mean, obviously, it's kind of a cool glimpse having Simple out of this team just for this, uh, at least for this event, it, just seeing, you know, structurally in terms of the system, how important he is for everyone else's success as well. I'm kind of curious to see who's going to step up in his in his place, because there's obviously a lot of options with Electronic and Perfecto and Head Trick, or excuse me, not uh, Electronic, Perfecto and Bit as that yes. kind of consistent core. Like one of those three guys you would expect to be the one to step up. Without a doubt, yeah, they still have a lot of firepower and confidence on that side, but I guess we'll find out. A little bit of a trade, Electronic on the Galil, able to take down Floppy. That's a good wall bang from JT, and he's able to drop Electronic right away. But the scout has shown up, and look at, again, the five sevens are doing so much damage, and they actually managed to defend the bomb site. Still a minute on the clock, but this is a problem for complexity. How do they recover this round? Yeah, a huge, huge problem. And they're going to rotate back around. Fang going all the way to long. So Halzer's going to come join up with them. They've got one player to deal with. That's going to be the stand-in. That's going to be Head Trick rotating up the stairs with the scout. Is he going to commit himself to this bomb site? Because Fang's going to be the one to lead the way out long and start probing into the site. There's the smokes going down. So a two on three, likely post-plant situation. Halzer can hear the footsteps, but they're taking a lot of time complexity getting comfortable with this bomb site. And once again, Hetrick doesn't really need to fight this too much. He just has to live, but they're going to try and hunt him down. That's a nice move from Fang. He keeps going maybe a bit too far. With the bomb down in a two-on-two, -two, would have been great for him to stay alive. Holzerg now on his own. He's going to take care of Sunday Young, but Perfecto's still up there, and he's got a massive health advantage with that AK on the other side, and Perfecto will win the one versus one and get Na'Vi back online with just, what, a Galil and a Scout and some pistols. Yeah, I think you nailed it. I think that's Fang just being... The, getting that first kill is huge. That's a very, very smart, aggressive play, but then not reining yourself in. Don't go for that second kill. Just back off, play it safe in bank. Play the 2v2 with your teammate. Put Halzerk in a really tough spot, but this is just a good setup. First, the initial double peek from Na'Vi on the first player towards Sandbags, and then obviously that player, they lost track of him at Toxic Barrels because he's not peeking off contact. He's hard baiting his teammate to get that one extra kill. And even losing the battle at the beginning down to the B-bomb site, they lost some of the rifles that then came back to haunt them, both the AKs up there. So you know, they had enough time now to go and pick those up and come back to the A-bomb site. A little bit of an issue as well. Or on Hetrick and also one on Holzer. So we could see a little bit of a fight. It'd be interesting to see how that plays out if they actually find each other. I mean, it's a giant map overpass, which I think is one of the reasons why some players have started to take a dislike to it. It's just that it is so huge. So maybe they won't, but... Um, I was like a little bit of an orb resort fight. Yeah, we always enjoy that. Yeah, get a feel for uh, for you know who's who's having the the quicker reactions on any given day. Molotov to force JT out, but no one is pushing towards Sandbags to punish it. Even the flashbang makes JT feel real nervous. Fires off some shots to keep the aggression at bay. Oh, if they walk into this, good shot from Hedrick. Floppy's going to try and trade it off, but that's a great angle. Double kill for Hedrick with the AWP, a five on three for Navi. Hard angle to clear as well, because if they try to flash him too deep, he's got a teammate that's really close and probably immune to, to a flashbang that he'll, that'll hit him. So a lot to work with. And again, they're playing very passively on this A bomb side. Once they have the advantage, they don't really want to fight. In that follow up second angle from Hedrick, it's so hard to trade. It's such a slight gap that you're kind of just, it's an easy aim for the for the opera to kind of line up the second frag. Grim going to start pressuring the site. Desperate situation. Three on five. They need to find these kills. One at bank, two over the truck. There's the first, but way too many crossfires to deal with. And a picture perfect Navi defense gets them three. They seem really confident, Navi, once they have a little bit of a read in, in just staying real far back on the day bomb site. They just don't even care. Yeah, that one. Yeah. 
that's not a it's not gonna be a, a fight that favors the ak on the other side i think there's like a certain level of philosophy in it too when you're playing a team like complexity that's kind of struggled and hasn't shown a whole lot of success if you're navi like you don't have to really you know don't don't over complicate things if you're navi you don't have to kind of do any kind of crazy moves or rotations let's see if they can just beat you standard counter-strike you know make them force them into the one who has to make the decision and make the aggressive plays they certainly have the confidence. For good reason, Bit there with the AK, chewing them all up. It's a nice quad kill. Bomb is on the ground, and he's looking for the ace. We almost had one yesterday. And Floppy's going to steal that one away from Bit, so unfortunate. But still, so far, so good. Great round. Hetrick, by the way, is 8-2 at the moment, so he's having himself a nice start to this game. And, I mean, you're right. Like, if you if you can just play better Counter-Strike in terms of, you know, who has the aim and everything, maybe, maybe that's enough. Yeah, I mean, I think the name of the game for Navi is, is just, I mean, mistake-free Counter-Strike. Like, not only are you playing a team that you're massive favorites against, but, but also with the new stand-in as well. Again, you know, keep things as simplified as possible. You still kind of have a situation where SDY is coming in and still probably not as comfortable as you'd like. So, uh, I, you know, it's going to be fun watching them throughout this group. But certainly here in this inaugural match with this lineup, yeah, just, just chill. Bit with aggression. Spotted one, but didn't like the fight that he was offered. Backs away. Difficult fight to recommit to, because you're yeah. really all in out on long like that. You can't easily escape, so probably didn't want to get stuck out there. Floppy taking a, an advanced angle here at the L-Bend really early on. I like I like that. I think that's a fun trick. Sometimes you can get there way before the CTs even realize, and, they'll, and they, they can actually back off into you without even realizing. We've seen this is, I think, the second time early on in this game, just, just in round number seven, that we've seen Floppy kind of go for this aggressive play over towards Sandbags to peek into the B-bomb site. And last time, it he got picked off by a 5-7 and a nade combination. This time, he sees absolutely nothing, but obviously somewhere he wants to emphasize. Navi's happy to just sit and wait. Decent amount of utility still left in the coffers. Head trick with full set of nades. B bomb site is the finishing act for complexity. Yeah, for sure. Floppy's been waiting at this corner the whole round. Very, very patient. See if he's going to get the reward that he really wants here. Electronic takes a lot of damage, but he's still alive. And Perfecto in the meantime, another headshot coming through. This time on Floppy, so didn't get what he wanted there. Now down to 28 seconds. And Electronic is feeling the pressure from all sides. Nice run and gun from Grimm. And he's going to find a second headshot to bring down SDY. That's absolutely massive. Smoke to block off the AWP at the sniper spot. And back into a two-on-two -two with 15 seconds. They need this bomb plant right now. And it's been interrupted already once. Bit coming through with the kill and head trick on the other side, pushing through the smoke and able to get the round. That is, I think that's a pretty decent execute coming out, all things considered from complexity, but they just, they needed a bit more space at the end. Well, the big the big problem too is Perfecto just has a great double kill over at the over at the pillar to, to start that out. And again, I mean, just buying time for rotations, allowing a flank to come in over, to, you know, down the stairs towards sandbags. He does a great job and he was pretty much the only player there kind of actually fighting everyone else from Navi supporting with utility and complexity not able to trade that kill for some time was brutal. Three round lead now for Navi. You feel it? You feel it slipping away? You feel this? Is this the... It's... Unfortunately, it is... You are getting that sense on you that... It's a bit early to get that sense, you know? I mean, it's, it is only seven rounds in. Yeah, it's true, but I think the problem is... The moment of excitement happens when they win the, the follow around, like they, they lose the pistol, but then they pick it up and you're like, oh, okay, here we go. There's, there's something to work with, but now it just feels like Navi uh, shrugging it off and just saying, oh, yeah, whatever. We're right back into it. They don't seem... Like they're really phased at all. Yeah, and here's a round where they choose to have some aggression when they know they're up against the pistols, peeking deep through Monster. Nice little pick from Head Trick as well with his AWP. Ten kills now for the stand-in opera. And it's nice and clinical. What a rare thing to be tested on the battlefield with Navi like this, if you're Head Trick. Even if, even if it turns out it's just for, you know, like, one week or something like that if, if that's still that's a rare thing to be to be thrown into Put that on your resume yeah certainly i i'm looking at it from the other angle as well where you know i don't think we're going to take too much out of out of this complexity game necessarily but i mean if you look forward to some matches that navi will have against g2 against liquid as well um if you start seeing a world where this navi team has this core and this structure provided by blade to bring in stand-ins with no like think about the fact that you know they lose their in-game leader. Electronic steps into the in-game leader role. They win their first event. SDY comes in as a stand and they win their first event. They get second at Cologne. Now they'd still be deadly after the break here in Black. Eye for Talon and picking out a Talon and young players. He's 
had his hands in a lot of the stars coming out of the CIS region yeah. for the entirety of CSGO. Definitely, yeah. Definitely a history that uh, that's probably worth, I don't know, making a little bit more out of some content one day. Imagine selling Modesty for, for a high sum over to G2 and then finding Hedrick and being like, yeah, we'll just build up another one. <laughs> we'll do it again. Rinse like and it. repeat. Six to two, the scoreline as we head into the ninth round. It looks like Complexity want to try and clear out long, possibly with a run boost. Oh, right on top. Can work, but um, Hedrick hand is crossed there pretty much exactly where he wanted. I was worried they, for a second to fly over the run, like the extra. Yeah, did he fall short? Did the run boost fail, or did he choose to stop short on it? Either way, brutal start to the round for Complexity. Five on three turned into a three on four. Yeah, it did seem like they were aiming a little bit further down. But maybe not. Perfecto, ooh, that's a decent flashbang to set it up with, but Perfecto just not even worried at all. Going to be bringing down Floppy regardless. JT and Grim now, two versus four, and it doesn't seem like this is going to be possible at all, although with a couple of kills, might have to take that back. Great stuff into a two-on-two -two and a dangerous nade being thrown out. It lands on top of JT, but that could have got Hetrick killed as well. Molotov on top of it. It's going to at least do a little bit more damage, force him out into the AWP, and JT... He's out of the round. Now it's all on Grim here. He's done well so far. He's got eight kills. Yeah. Oh. It's definitely not. You're right. He's on the wrong side. That's a big issue. But he does get the first one there. Has to almost peek and look for where Bit is. Make sure. Oh, oh, and it's one more headshot. Ten kills and a triple in the round. And Grim saving complexity on this one. Yeah, but he really had to take that fight. He had to make sure Bit couldn't cross over. That's not a fight that you really want to be put into a position. That was his only option once he got into the 1v1 still. <laughs> <laughs> right through the scope. Still good shots. There's some of that crisp aim that we know Grim for. That's what made him such an exciting prospect previously. This is a great shot. An unlikely nice. clutch to win. And you got to say, if you're complex here right now, one of the things that you can kind of hang your head on, Grim has actually looked pretty solid on these kind of as like the second or third player coming into this B-bomb site. There's been two or three rounds in this game already, even in losses where he's been able to grab two critical kills entering into the B-bomb site to allow for a plant. Here he gets those two and the 1v2 clutch. They really, really badly needed that round. Put a stop to what Navi were doing. And that's what, they fight that back from a two on four. And it happens really quickly. So probably also a little bit of a momentum boost for the complexity side. Just feeling like, all right, they might be Navi and we know that they're really good, but at the same time, we can pull out some, uh, some magic all on our own. Head trick out here with the AWP still. There's still some money in the back for Na'Vi and losing that round, so that's the other luxury, I guess, of putting some rounds together. I think they, they end up winning five in a row. Yeah. Ooh, I like this from Fang. This is bold. He's going to get rewarded. There's the first kill on the head trick. Bit's got to turn around, and he's got that kill as well. Nicely done. Fang, low HP. Had to just hold his ground. SDY eliminates one. Floppy snuck in as well. So a little bit of bold, quiet, sneaking, aggressive plays from Complexity has caused some chaos in this defense, but even still, it's a two-on-two -two situation. Yeah, they're really switching it around a lot. I don't think Navi really understand what's happening anymore. A little bit of confusion on their side, potentially. Electronic, though, in the right position, sneaking in, but he's got no cover out here. He's going to get found by Holsirk. Molotov is great, and JT again feeling the wrath of it, but he's going to get saved. This time, no AWP there to catch him as he runs out, and Holsirk with the final kill. That's such a smart play from Floppy to go for that quiet yet aggressive lurk through Monster underneath the, the ramp towards the B-bomb site right after the play that Fang makes, because he knows that's going to pull so much attention that's definitely at least pulling the rotator and things gotten a kill so all of a sudden you realize you know he's got a conversation to get into it here 11th round navi's out of money they are. this is the final buy that they have if complex can string one more together we've got a half on our hands this could be interesting fluffy trying to get through once again see if he can be a little bit speedy he's tried it a number of times and it's ended up being very patient in this position. Seems like Electronic is aware that something could be happening. Flash to come through right as the smoke was in his hands. This is a great hit. Double entry. And they even see the third player back there on SDY. So they could probably chuck a couple of nades at him to make sure he can't really re-engage in the battle that easily. Wow, that is amazing. They should be winning this round. Yeah, I, th I think this is going to be a save for Navi. If they don't get a kill here pretty soon, oh, they, okay, this might pull them. This might keep them here a little bit longer. There are no kits on the Navi side. This would have to be fast. And I don't... Oh, excuse me, there is one kit. SDY has one. But Fang knows that there's no flank coming through at all. He's been checking that out, so 
Yeah, they have such a good read on where the Navi players are. No point in it. Navi gonna have to just escape the round. Complexity fighting back. A little bit surprising. Looked like they were gonna get... We just brought it up, you know. It feels like it's slipping out of their control, but... They found a little bit of grip strength once again. Yeah, this is a cool call. I mean, nice and simple, just to walk over to the B bomb site, let that smoke plume, and we're just gonna do an execute and see what we find on the other side of them. And obviously, it's two entries. Five, six. Good to see. Ooh, hold on. Well, that I can't. Yeah, you can't. You can't do that one. Barely do the American one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, American. Good to see uh, F Floppy finally get a little bit of a reward for, for having sort of fished at that angle and trying to play that position a number of times. And he looks super confident in it, even if they Molotov it out. He's just gonna. He's he's going for it. So nicely done. Five to six, the score line. Like to be catching up. And now be some saved rifles here. Head trick. So blind for a long, long time. I'm actually impressed he didn't panic more than that. He was like, all right, I guess I'll just wait. Eventually we'll escape. If they steal this round back, Navi, that would be really heartbreaking for complexity because they have them in a really tight spot. I think this is one of those rounds where you just tell Head Trick with the AWP, like, you know, you got a little bit of more freedom here. Obviously going for an aggressive peek down the stairs. Now he's got to rotate over towards the B bomb site, which is exactly where complexity is heading. You've got Perfecto, excuse me, you got Bit on the other side of the map starting to clear out bathrooms as well. So he's calling out that there's no presence here, which is why the Opera Head Trick feels comfortable rotating over. And it's a stack. It's a huge stack. A lot of pistols and an M4 as well. It's going to work out so well. Perfecto on the double. And Hall Zerk and Fang, they are left outside of the B bomb site. That's unfortunate. They had a lot of time, complexity. And they got really deep in the tunnel. They must have felt like one good flash around the corner, and that's all we need. But now we're down to 40 seconds, and they already won a single two on four earlier in, in this uh, half. Doing it again seems like it's a little bit too much to ask for. Yeah, probably not likely. Had trick with the angle towards sandbags. Oh, that's a fast flick over. Not accurate, doesn't land. Halzer gets dropped, and they know exactly where Fang is. So this round is definitely over now. One kill for Fang. That's not bad. 1v3, but you only got 18 seconds on the clock. Oh, okay. Another headshot. What an angle to take a fight at. 10 seconds, though, and the bomb is down there. You can see Perfecto's really playing with him. Fang's gonna get one more kill, but he's just so far out of time. Five seconds. He can go straight for it, but... Oh, he's ready for it. He actually could have won the round. That is... That's spectacular from Fang. What a great round. Yeah, I'll eat my words there. I felt that was over 20 seconds before that occurred. What a cool sequence from Fang. Even the heads up, he knows what's coming next. He knows exactly what the plan is to stop that plan with only five seconds remaining. Very few bullets in the chamber. Difficult shot to hit, but what an inspiring attempt at the clutch. I think especially the second one. <laughs> he wanted it so bad. For me, he had it all figured out. That shows some really cool game game sense. I like it. 13th round, though. Navi do still it back with a nice stack and some save weapons. They get to fight another day. Bit out here, throwing some bullets over top of the smoke, but they're coming right through. Double peek in, and it's a good uh, job for Head Trick to at least revenge that kill. Otherwise, it would have been a perfect opening for Complexity. Yeah, Navi's got to be a little bit careful. Complexity starting to really kind of disrespect the smokes and some of the utility that Navi's finding, and they're really going for some tricky timings in their first moves. Bit cut off, but Hedrick there to find the one for one. Now he's gonna get aggressive up highway. He's got Grim right behind the wall. So scary when you're on your own out here with the AWP. Not a lot has to go wrong before there is no way out. Smoke will allow him to slowly crawl back into it. And a nice headshot. Sunday Young coming up with a kill. Now, there's no presence over at the B bomb site, which there's been frequently throughout this half. You've seen Floppy over towards Sandbags at that corner. You've seen players kind of challenging and, and spamming through Monster with no utility and no presence outside B. Nobby's actually been able to have the read to have three players at this A bomb site for some time now. They're prepared for what complexity is coming with. Tiny little peek. You're absolutely right. They have a really good understanding of what's coming up. 30 seconds now. A little bit close. Oh, I can't I believe that's a headshot. JT able to pick one of them up. Electronic traded as well. And JT's got a little bit of time. 20 seconds. Running up the stairs in front. Perfecto. And certainly being heard by JT. Swings for it. And an instant headshot. What a beautiful round. I can't believe they recovered this one either. Yeah. No, I, uh, this is a huge clutch. Another one.
to keep complexity alive into this. Perfecto is going to want that jump back for sure. That jump up onto the garbage can. That's going to be something he wish he had back. Good trades coming into the site. I think the real loss here for Navi is both the players inside the bomb site. There's the miscue of the round. Both of them playing behind dice boxes. Yeah. Neither with any real place to go. We saw previously early on in the half, clean a defense with multiple crossfire. Seven to six, one round lead. It's been four the last five for complexity. And if it is, I mean, it's not an upset we could lay the feet of Hetrick. He's got 14 to six. He's done a great job. But obviously Navi as a whole, like we said, structurally are going to be functioning differently no matter what. And Complexity, I think, just also playing maybe better than I was expecting. Sure. I'll allow I, it. I, I mean, I, Fang and Grim are both having great games. And, I mean, every game that Complexity comes into, those two guys are going to be are, are going to be win conditions. Those two guys particularly are kind of like the young potential in North America. Floppy, I think, has already established himself enough to be considered, you know, a solid force to be reckoned with. I think that's my problem. I keep forgetting f how good Fang is. Yeah. I don't know why. Like I A lot of people did. Say it. He was on the rise before he joined Complexity. Yeah. His his kind of time in this organization has been has been really rough and, and probably uh, not a good testament to what he's capable of. Confidence. He's so ready to take these fights. Better be a little bit careful. Nine bullets left down to six here. Still hasn't reloaded. But they've taken the bomb site in great fashion. He swings so wide that it's really hard for anyone on the Navi side to stop them from coming out of the restrooms. The rest of the team, they're going to be joining from that side, and it all works out great. Navi are going to have to save the rest of this round, and they're tying up the scoreline. It's 7-7 seven to seven leading into the 15th round. I think for me, Grim, obviously, because of his time in Liquid, that's a lot of exposure, so everyone kind of knows his name. And then Floppy, obviously, as like a, a, I think, an up and coming star for a long time. Was like it we Cloud9 know, as well? Yeah, Cloud9. We know how good Floppy could be, right? I just, for, so maybe those are the two people for me that, I, that end up always overshadowing Fang whenever I think about it. But you see it right here. He's got an enormous amount of confidence. And I mean, he basically almost won that one versus three earlier, which, and not, even if he lost it, you still have to sort of nod your head and say, well, he knew, he knew everything. Well, I mean, even the consequences of losing, I think it was a 1v4 to start and he gets three kills. Oh, yeah. I mean, just even the consequences of taking that many weapons away. And now you start to see Navi having money issues the last two, three rounds of this half. And it's like, okay, even in a loss, look at what Fang has been able to deliver. It's just a weakened CT side economy that they can expose towards the later stages of the half. What a great run Complexity is putting together. I think this is, what, five of the last six now? Perfecto. Almost catching up to head trick, 13 and 15 kills respectively. The rest of them are doing pretty good, all, all right. It's not that bad for the rest of them, but... I'm just imagining Jason Lake back in Dallas right now at the offices, watching on the big screen, big bowl of biscuits and gravy in front of him, some good Southern comfort food. Cigar. Enjoying his morning. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure, just like a 8 a.m. cigar. Nothing, nothing hits quite like it. C cigar. <laughs> some bourbon. I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm in. <laughs> He's in Texas after all, isn't he? That's how it is. Perfecto. Flash again. He sees it coming, though. That's a nice little turnaround. A lot of damage and a team kill in the middle of all the confusion. Not quite enough for the kill there on Grim, but it is close and head trick. Quick flank coming through and opening that door to take down JT. SDY, he's ready for the battle, but he's got to be careful. This SMG is not that much stopping power, but the flash. Oh, I don't know if that might have been a fl friendly flash. I'm not even sure. Fang is going to eventually get the kill, and it's another flank to come on top. One versus one, and bit even with the SMG, probably has the advantage here. Fang, he's been so good. He needs the instant headshot right here. He's already in danger. Flash around the corner and Bit just looking for another couple of bullets and he'll win this round and at least he'll get the last one. But it's Fang again! Yeah, a 1v2 from Grim, a 1v1 from JT, a 1v1 from Fang, almost a 1v4 from Fang. They got the benefit of a lot of clutches in that first half. We'll see if Navi can reverse the fortunes here. They did win the pistol round in the first half, but I mean, certainly just from a very general perspective, you'd say eight rounds in your, on your T side, switching over to quote unquote the easier side of overpass. It has complexity in the driver's seat at the moment, which was not on a lot of people's bingo cards today. Oh, it wasn't. We like a good upset to spice things up a little bit. Um, and a good game of bingo. <laughs> that you spend your time on that a lot? Is that... <laughs> we should have more Counter-Strike bingo, shouldn't we? Sure. Bit, a little bit of cross. <laughs> Collateral damage, I believe. Bit ran right into that, and it's another headshot. Four in a row for Holsirk, showing his skill. We talked about it earlier. Didn't get to see too much of it in the first half, but that is a way to get started. Now, the ace is quite far away. Are they going to send him running? Maybe send some people scouting? Just SDY left, but 
That second kill is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that really was. Just clotheslines them, walk right into it. We love those kills with the USP. I think Navi's going to need someone like Bit to, to, to step up and provide some energy. I think Electronic is probably going to start having, you know, he's been he's been phenomenal individually since he swapped in-game leader, but I think you're putting a lot on his plate now as a new in-game leader. We have to remember, this is very recent, so you have SDY still getting acclimated. You have a stand-in as well. You don't have his normal right, or you don't have his normal kind of star player of simple there that you don't really have to think about too much during the games. Electronic's got a lot on his plate trying to make this all work so I, I think I got to look towards bit in this half to provide something to get some energy in this team because this Navi squad well it started out in the first half clinical efficient just standard you know fundamental counter-strike now it feels flat now it feels like there's not a whole lot of energy and a whole lot of power coming out of this Navi side so someone's gonna have to wake him up in this second half and I mean, what that's interesting to think about because that is one of the things that we know Simple really brings to the team sometimes. Sometimes he will just win. People are engaged and yeah, that's a big factor to be missing right now. But we always talk about Navi having such a deep, you know, talent pool. And they do. So maybe someone else is going to be is going to be getting out from under. I mean, for a long time, people have thought about this, you know, what if what if Bit just becomes straight up the competition within the team to, to try and, and get there? Now is his chance to to try and show. Yeah, you know, even if Simple's not here, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be putting up the numbers. And so far, he's still on track. I mean, he could still have a great map. So we'll see. Pistols, deagles this time instead of the five sevens. There, there's no numbers that are really frightening if you look down like the Navi scoreboard. It's it's just like the impact felt of some of those kills isn't as high as as you as you'd like it to be. And obviously that'll happen losing you know losing three clutches in the first half. Sure. So yeah. this second half is all about recovery. Deagles on the board for Navi. No utility, so it's going to be slow paced and giving these deagles a lot of time to find some defender making a mistake, may making some over aggression, whatever it might be. That was the first opportunity. Second one coming up shortly. Bit goes down. Good bit of cleanup here, just uh, especially with the SMGs. Ooh, looked like he had the idea. Head trick defending whatever is left of the pizza from the birthday party. Leftover pizza is an amazing thing. It's S tier. But how do you reheat it? Oven or microwave? I don't reheat leftover pizza. You eat that shit cold. What an absolute uncultured savage. That's um, so definitely the wrong answer. A little bit of Parmesan, a little bit of crushed red pepper. Call it day. Here we go. Floppy's got a chance. Electronic goes down. Two more to find. Good flashbang from Halzer. That was, he was very Johnny on the spot with that one. Three quick kills and complexity still winning. And stayed alive at the end, even after uh, the accidental uh, unscrewing of the silencer. There's got to be a way to stop that from happening. To unbind it when you have the M4? Yeah, like you, like in your config, like it just knows that <laughs> it just unbinds the secondary fire when you pull, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. There's got to be a way. How many rounds have been lost? Do we have the statistics? Like how many 1v1s have been lost to that? Or the jumping. Scroll. Or inspecting weapons. Got some, got some culprits here. Three round lead for the complexity side. Navi back with rifles. And we've, we've painted a lot of different ways that maybe Navi could, you know, players that could bring them back in. But now, kind of time for them to show us exactly how this is going to work out. Fang, they're up close against the M4 and he's going to get traded. Grim will get one of them there, but almost JT not getting back around the corner. So one for one trade and about even damage there between JT and Perfecto. So they slow it down, Navi, with plenty of time on the clock. Where is the next move going to be made? Very quiet across the map. Halzark and Grim over at A. Relatively aggressive defense as Grim is just keeping an eye on Long, but he's in a position to turn and help out Halzark whenever it's needed. JT and Floppy over towards the B bomb site. Navi's gone completely silent. Also, just going to go investigate. This is always risky, but it's such a cool idea if you don't know what's happening across the map to, to actually find out on the CT side. And they get the trade on Grim once again, so... Backfires a little bit with Hall Circ. Oh, he just makes a huge assumption. It, no, it's because the yeah, with the utilities being spent, that's a little bit of a fake thrown in there from complexity. Smokes and utility being thrown towards the B bomb site, and Grim felt like he had to bail out to get a jump on a rotation. I think he just gets punished. Hedrick obviously knew the whole time he'd been dinked. He was low HP, and complexity's not going for it. Would you would you say that's an excusable thing to make a run for, or is it are they a little bit jumpy? Is that like the, the pressure getting to them, or do you think it's just like, you know, you could also say that if he doesn't run quick and it actually is an ex execution, well, then he's late, you know? 
so yeah I, I mean i think that's a decision i mean that kind of a criticism would certainly be made in hindsight i think his full-blown knife out forget about the rest of the map kind of evacuation might be a little bit much, but... I prefer to make criticism in hindsight. <laughs> <laughs> that way I know I'm right. That way you know all the answers. Yeah. It's, it's way better. It's like taking the exam with, with the cheat sheet right in front of you. Yeah? It's great. Do some of that too? Is that what you're advocating out to the world? So given given the path my educational, I have feel if I did, people shouldn't follow it, you know? But I'm not admitting to anything on when it's being recorded, Jason. I know oh. enough of it. I wonder what it's Not like without a lawyer present. <laughs> I wonder what it's like for Hedrick to look down at this entire packet of notes and be like, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, speaking of which, taking somebody else's note to an exam and you're like, I don't know what any of this is. Yep. Fair enough. <laughs> Round number 19. And a bit hanging around out by the playground. Gonna be almost fighting two people here, but he actually will stick a little bit further back. That's interesting. Pushing for the smoke now. He does sense that something is up out there. Doesn't really know what it is yet. He's taken the peek through the smoke a couple of times and he always missed the timing on finding JT's aggression. So JT at the moment, a snake in the grass. I a bit might be very cautious out towards long. He'll never expect JT to be up in playground already. This should be at least one freebie kill. And if there's some trigger discipline, JT could have more. Oh, what a nice shot. Polsuk back with it, and there's the discipline, there's the patience you were talking about. Gets the kill on Electronic, and that should dissolve the round here for Na'Vi. Two versus four. What a disgusting sequence for the Deagle from Holzer. <laughs> Two yeah. quick kills, top stairs, makes things real easy for JT. I don't really know what you have left if you're head trick and SDY. Go through Monster quietly, no utility. You know Na'Vi have the information, you know they have control of the map. And you got to know this is going to be a tough fight you're wandering into. Yeah, just walk in on contact and just hope to get the first headshot, make it a two on three, and then just roll with it from there on out. But it feels very, very unlikely. And they have such a good understanding here. Floppy, take down SDY and head trick. One versus four, flashed out and eventually taken down by Grim. He's happy to have Halzerk in there after yeah. that round, yeah. Plus, I mean, uh, I don't know if there were many other choices, but I love the idea of getting the... the it takes a bullet here, a couple of bullets here to that, so four left, and he's like, I'm not reloading. I'm ready. Nice. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you just have to be prepared for that fight. It Whenever that happens, I keep thinking of... Do you remember the, the Prince of Persia game, like the old platform 2D ones? Okay, yeah. When you jump into, like, they have, like, these glass sheets that, like, cut you up into. Okay. That's what I keep thinking of. Alright, oh, that's a weird weird thing to have triggered in your brain. Yeah, I guess. What a what an annoying game to play. <laughs> Waste hundred hours of your life doing it. No, hundred hours of your life. I've never played it. Well, there's always time, Jason. There's always time. Three round gap. It's not that much, but energy you were talking about from Navi, it's kind of it's not there. No, it's it's not. It, it, it feels very, very subdued, and, and that's that was one of the points. I mean, we have so much conversation, obviously, around Simple missing this with his with his play with the AWP, but I think in the other sense, that emotional and vocal energy that he provides is one thing it feels like they're missing the most in this game, because you actually have, as you mentioned earlier, Head Trick with the AWP performing very, very well. 18 kills for him as stand-in, leading the way for Na'Vi. Yeah, and that's that's great. And but there's we don't have the same the same fear on the complexity side that maybe we'd normally see. They feel like they they're they're ready to take it. I mean, Fang was showing so much confidence in the first half, and in the second half now that they've got the lead, I mean, it's surely just building round for round. Look at how far outside of the B bomb site they are. Far enough that they can have three people in A at the moment, and probably a really quick rotation. So should be a good round here for complexity. A little bit of an unfortunate timing, but they're able to clean it up without a single casualty on the complexity side. Paul Zirk was like, oh man, these are ego kills coming in. I don't want to sit here and watch long. I want to turn the corner and spray down three. <laughs> it's a classic. Four round lead, 12 to eight. Not a whole lot of time for Navi to get back in this game. One round so far in the second half on offense. They need answers. They need them right now. You know what they're really missing on the complexity side? What's that? Trash talking. 
Fang got some at the end when he won that clutch. A little bit, yeah. Yeah, he got in there a bit. Well, you know, funnily enough, they, they've they've kind of been trash talking in a way. If you, they're they're probably one of the best teams to to find a headline, at least the previous roster. You know, between Grim saying, you know, all the pressures on our opponents because who the hell wants to lose the complexity? That's <laughs> one version of trash talk. Incredibly, it's not the best version of trash talk. I like it. I like it. It's an opportunity, you know. Maybe, maybe that's something they can warm up into if they win this game. Which currently they're four rounds away from doing, so... Moving in the right direction. GMT, that is a cool move once again. Put some pressure on Na'Vi. Oh, that's, that's a less cool move. <laughs> Losing track of where your teammate is and shooting Fang in the, uh, in the side of the, side of the hip. Hedrix found an opening pick. The, Na'Vi needs this round. Fang is still being aggressive. He's still being proactive on the map. And he's put in a position where he can hear a lot of information. He can have a fast flank in a number of different ways, but he can just be patient. There's a lot of things you can gather from this spot. Possibly just trying to get away from JT at this point in time. Perfecto. Oh, I can't believe Perfecto gets the snapback. It looked like he was already looking the wrong way. JT, a lot of range here for the M4, but he's going to get traded. And this is still working out great for Na'Vi. Two versus four at the moment with 35 seconds. That's maybe the only downside is the time that's left here. Grim does have a Molotov, so the bomb making its way... If, if the, everything goes wrong for Na'Vi, that's maybe the only way they could lose this one. Time and a Molotov. Well, I, Electronics is making us play through Monster right now, but I don't think there's enough time for them. Or not Electronics, excuse me. Uh, that, that's SDY, but I don't think there's enough time to really take advantage of it now that he's seeing that it's clear they still have to move forward. So yeah, this is awkward. It's Instead of a 4-on-2, it's actually a 3-on-2 at this bomb site. Oh! There goes Grim. They needed a clean entrance and Bit delivers. That is such a disgusting opening. Floppy tries to fight it back, but it's a one versus three, and he's going to get found at the end. But again, imagine a world in which one bit maybe doesn't get that entry, but also if he actually throws down the Molotov in front, they yeah. would have to really struggle to try and even find the bomb plant. That's way closer than it should have been. Yeah, to find safety for the bomb plant. And even that that, that was the head scratcher for me was SDY making that kind of information play towards the B bomb site with like 18 seconds left. You can't rotate Dead, like a... Probably. Like, the Germans would have a word for that. They would. We'll get someone to help us out. Three round difference once again. Navi able to pick it up. Deep nade here. Money is pretty much gone for the complexity side. So if they want a chance at, uh, at keeping Navi at a distance here and, and make sure the gap doesn't close maybe too quickly, then this is going to be a really pivotal round. I still love the aggression. Of JT all the way out there outside of the B bomb site. Very flexible. If anything fast happens on the A bomb site, he could be there so quick. So he's not really sure yet if anyone is actually in connector, but he's going to find out. Also, sneaking up, but the timing is so ridiculous. He almost spotted him, but now he's actually in a lot of danger. There's nobody next to him. Both his teammates are long right now, so he's just playing this really with no help, and he can't start to scope around now. It'll give away the entire game, so goes back up, still scoped. I don't think they know that he's there either, so just a question of timing and electronic. He's not going to be quick enough for it. Also, he gets the kill that he needed and is immediately traded. Yeah, but now Fang gets to move forward. Now he gets to make his play. And this is a little bit of a double flank. Even if Fang goes down, Grim is going to be here. Oh, they spot one. That's the bomb. They got to come back for Fang. He's got another. And they still don't know about Grim. He'll find head trick as he wraps around. And this is perfect for complexity. 13 to 9. And yeah, Fang almost can't believe it. <laughs> I don't know. That's just basic excitement. And yeah. I love it. I love the energy and, and oh. almost the mirror of on the Navi side, like the frustration, yeah. like, come on. I was going to say the contrast, the contrast of different things. And I think Electronic maybe individually frustrated, perhaps leaking into the team as well. And a little bit of his perspective on how things are working. Again, he's got a lot of moving parts right now, Navi, with all the different stand-in situations they have going on. And it's got to be tough, tough to keep control of everything at the moment. And the fact that you're running out of cash doesn't really typically help either. Some, some deagles being picked up, but that's about it. Really high chance right now. The complexity will end up at 14. And this push from JT to different varieties. But I mean, if Navi realized, maybe that's something that they could try and exploit a little bit. Say, all right, if you're going to be that aggressive outside of the B-bomb side, maybe eventually we're going to try and, and come snatch you up out there. Oof. All right. He's fine. It's all good. And deep in T-spawn, Floppy is, uh, is on a mission. 
Again, not that it's probably needed in this particular round. They're probably going to be fine either way. But uh, the complexity are... You're getting a lot of map control. Even in the rifle rounds. Oh, Fluffy. Oh, knife is out. I was going to say, that could have actually been a little bit scary. I, I mean, look at all the confidence complexity he's playing with. Like these, we saw JT doing some pushes earlier. We saw Fang doing some pushes earlier. Now we've got Floppy pushing up as well. They're feeling very comfortable with a double push into bathrooms in the previous round. Complexity has no issue working up the courage to move across the map on the CT side. 25 seconds and I was surely at this point you just try to run so that you can, you can be sure to die you could maybe get a bomb plant if things go really crazy 18 seconds here and head trick he's been found out as well flawless round for the complexity side and they get to 14 this is this is crazy yeah I think this is where you really feel like Navi just a little bit lost at the moment uh, not a whole lot of initiative being taken across the map not a whole lot of ideas coming out from any of these players this feels like a very passive calm T side so far they need to change that pretty much instantly 19 kills on fang but then floppy and grim right there with him also not that far behind either they're putting up great numbers and it started the show also he was so flash and he still got the kill jt did to follow it up but that is again tripling down on the aggression here on the ct side for complexity another flash to set it up and at least they turn the corner without dying, but they don't quite get the kill on him. Yeah, but I like that, Na that Navi's really challenging and even coming back for a challenge after the initial kill as well. The flashbang and just say, all right, if you're going to be aggressive, at least we know where you are. Let's go chase after it. So good damage done to Halzark and Grimm in a 4v4. And they've gained some piece of map control. SDY's turn to beat the smoke, but he chooses to call it off right at the end. And to be fair for Navi's point of view, a lot of the time when there has been aggression, it's just been JT on his own. This is where I'm, I'm curious what Nobby's going to be doing. This is this is what's kind of made me a little uneasy throughout this half is where's the play being made? Where's the pressure being applied? Everyone is just kind of paused at the moment and not really moving forward. Bit is looking for this aggression and the timing is everything. Yeah, that's pretty rough. A little bit of a flash to draw some attention away. There's nobody out here. Bit is really on his own, so... He's not got quite far. Might be hard to find at this point in time. And oh, that is an angle to get. Did get uh, tagged himself, so Holsuk managed to let a bullet out, but he should be dead. It's the bomb, though, still headed towards the B-bomb site. So Fang is going to look and say, well, there's no one here, and it's all going to be at the B-bomb site. 20 seconds left. Floppy is here close. Grim not that far behind either. And they're going to get some good damage in. Headshot as he falls back down the ramp. Floppy doing it all on his own. Didn't even need the backup. Finally, Grim showing up, and they'll get another round. 15 on the board. Complexity looking great. Yeah, there's the shit talk you wanted. There he is getting a little bit loud in the room. I like it. Yeah, all smiles on Complexity. They have not had a whole lot to smile about these past few months, so this is a cool win from them so far. They've got a lot of opportunities to close this map. Six chances now to take, a six, or to take their first victory at Blast Premier. Yeah, and against the Na'Vi team without Simple. The boys are looking clean! Not really, not really smack talking yet. He's more hyping up the team at the, at the moment. He hasn't gotten to the uh, aggressive, put down the opposition phase of his career. He'll get there. He's still young. Yeah, he'll, he'll learn. It'll happen. But he's upgraded from the nice. Ooh, Sunday Young. Getting a kill on JT. Down to Galil's here on the T side. <laughs> trying to roll any kind of momentum they can forward here it does take a lot of damage though but it's true i mean you mentioned in the last round how navi for a long time just there's a lot of slowing down with no even map control getting gained right just kind of hoping to to find someone wandering into a crosshair i need to see that change just a little bit this time they're all grouped up at the restrooms they got Fang up close with Holzerk behind on that AWP, so could be a strong one-two punch. Could also be interrupted if pressure comes in from long. Fang might be on his own if Holzerk has to switch out and start to look that way. Well, they know. Look at this. Bring it in Grim. Yeah, this is perfect. What a great setup. If Holzerk can take contact, Fang's in a tough position. Does he get cleared? Oh, Grim. Double kill from him. Sets up Fang. Sets up Halzer. 